for. We've been a band for a long time, and um, God just keeps uh, giving us that that new fresh wind, you know, every season uh, to keep coming back to this, to keep writing songs, to keep singing the songs we've been singing for a lot of years. And um, uh, I got to ask, so how many people have wondered ever at any point in time what Sanctus Real means, even if it's just tonight for the first time? Yeah? Awesome. So did I. <laughs> because our drummer, Mark, named the band. Me and Chris were 16 years old. He was 18. So whatever he said went. He came to us and he said, uh, you know, I want to name our band Sanctus Real. And I asked him, so well, dude, what's that mean? It sounds really weird. And um, we always give him, give him crap for it because, um, you know, we go in an airport and I'll be carrying my guitar and somebody will stop me and they'll be like, hey, uh, are you in a band? And I'll be like, yeah, actually. They're like, what band? They're hoping you're going to be like Coldplay. You know, they're really excited. And then you say, yeah, we're in this band called Sanctus Real. And they go, Step, what? Every single time, if they're not, you know, familiar with Christian music. And so, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity for us to share about our band and our name and what it is that we do. And, uh, you know, even way back then, we were just a bunch of kids just making noise. We started in Chris's parents' basement and we sounded awful. Um, but, but I love the meaning of, of, of Sanctus. It's short for sanctuary. It's san uh, short for sanctified and sanctuary. And in, in the la uh, Catholic Church, actually, they sing it in Latin. They say, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. It's a hymn of praise. It means holy, holy, holy. You know, Mark told me even way back then that it was a hymn of praise. It meant set apart. It meant holy. I think we knew right away, like, that's something that we stand for. That's something we want to be. That's a mission statement for us. And the real has always been about us um, just being who we are, on stage, off stage. A lot of entertainers, sometimes, they build this brand or this image, and they put on a face they want you to see, um, and they kind of keep who they really are from people. And uh, we don't do that. What you see is what you get. Um, we try to be the same guys on stage, off stage, in our homes, on the road. Uh, we're not perfect, obviously, but we're striving to serve the Lord on a day-to-day -day basis. We want to write real songs about real life, our real lives, and where our faith collides with that, and what God has to say about it, and the redemption that He brings us in our day-to-day -day life as we struggle. And so all these years, that's just been our prayer. Lord, take all of us as a hymn of praise. Take our real lives as we lift it up to you in song. And here's what I believe. You see, we're not the best musicians in the world. We're not. And we know that. And we're okay with that. Because we still believe, like we did from day one in Chris's parents' basement, that if we take what little we have, because I'll tell you, I'm the first to say that every single day of my life, I struggle with insecurities, just like everybody else. And I feel like I don't have enough to give. I feel like I don't have enough to be up here on this big stage under big lights. But you know what? When we take what little we have and we give it to a big God, He can do incredible, amazing, life-changing things with our gifts and talents, right? You believe that? And here's the thing. Um, as we do that, the Bible says that when you commit your ways to the Lord, that He will establish your plans. And so since we've been doing that from day one, I sincerely believe that every single city that we've been to, every place we've gone, that God has us there for a reason. So I believe that God has us here for a reason tonight. And then he knew 17 years ago, the first day we ever struck up those guitars or hit on a drum or sang into a microphone, God knew that we'd be here tonight in River Ranch, Florida. And he also knew that you would be here tonight with us. And I know that. And here's the thing. I hope that something we say tonight, maybe something Candace said, maybe something the worship band sang or the pastor this morning said, um, I hope that something has stuck with you, that God's done something in your life through what you've heard or through what, the words that you've sung, or maybe it's an interaction that you have with somebody here tonight that has impacted your life and drawn you closer to God or comforted your heart in some way. Um, and, and you know, a lot of times we think we're coming just to minister to you guys, but here's what I would say tonight as well. I would say don't underestimate the reason that you're here tonight. It might be something that you do. It might be something that you say. It might be a smile. It might be a prayer. It might be a word of affirmation, a word of encouragement, whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just a hug for somebody who needs it. You're here for a reason. Don't. Don't overlook that. Don't take it lightly. And so tonight, I pray that God, as we come together, just uses us for his will and for his purposes. And he'll do something cool here tonight. I believe it. Do you believe it? Amen.
And so this song is about, it's called One of Those Things. It's a new one off our new album, Run. I'm gonna tell you why we keep on coming back To the same old set of time and rescue tracks Dreams fade and wither over time But you know when you're born for something in this life I'm gonna tell you why we keep on keeping on Cause a song was made for us and us for a song So many people die. 